In this video, you're going to learn how to post a contact block with teacher information on it. Uh, Ms. Han has one on her page with email and phone number, but she does not necessarily have um, her daily schedule and her room assignments. And it's also below the fold, not high enough on the page. So here's how you can add a new block and you can use the template that I'm pro I've provided to make it easy for you. So on your page, you're going to turn editing on. And then you're going to scroll to the very bottom of the page because that is where you can add a block to the left hand column and the block you're going to add is an HTML block. That's one that's customizable. And again, we want this thing above the fold, so we move it to the top. So if you click on this icon right here and drag it and touch the block above it, it'll exchange places with it. So I just continue to do that one by one. Click, drag, touch the other one until it gets to the top. And I'm almost there. All right, it could be above the Hopkins block. And then um, you are going to go inside of this block and say configure. And teacher contact might what be what you put for the block title. And then you're going to go in here and you're going to be pasting HTML. So to paste HTML, you might be reminded that you need to click on this button right here to get into the HTML. All right. Now I'm going to leave this tab open for a moment. I'm going to hop back to this assignment because I've provided you some code that you can copy so that you can get a custom um, contact block. So I am going to copy everything above this line, everything below this line. So I start here, drag my cursor down, drag, 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 drag keep dragging until I get right here to where it says table. I do not want to get that line. I'm going to copy that with a command to see on my keyboard or um, edit menu, go down to copy. So if I were to hop back to the home page here, this code that I just copied is going to give me a contact block, uh, a contact block that looks like this. So then I go back to my page, which is actually really Debbie's page. I'm in the HTML editor and I paste that code. I click update. Now I am back into where I can simply type over what has been provided here. You can delete the photo here or you can um, add a photo at that place. Or you could go here and you can type in Debbie Han and then she's got a four digit extension which is 5555, actually I don't know. Or then you can go here, highlight the first dot last, and type in Debbie.han. Maybe it's dash Fisher. Maybe I spelled it right. Maybe I didn't. And then you can go into the blocks here, and you can put down um, any sort of scheduling information that you want to do. So maybe you're going to just put a room number. I don't know. Or maybe you want to put a room number and a course that you're teaching. I don't know. Um, you can decide what to do, but as you um, double click on those X's and, and put in text, you're going to be customizing it. So when you uh, save it, that information is going to be in this block. If you do put down, um, you know, like a class and a room number, you might want to put it on two lines. You might want to go in there and make the text smaller. Um, you can do whatever customizing you would like.